Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I've suddenly got really nervous doing this because I haven't filmed a sit down video in, I don't know, go five months? It's been a long time. So I, yeah, I'm suddenly like, oh, I'm really not really sure what to say and I feel tongue tied and I feel like it's my first YouTube video again. So bear with me, I'm sure once I get into it, I'll be okay. Also, if you see some glitter on my face, I have just been at a kid's birthday party. I ended up being designated face painter and painting loads of kids' faces and using glitter. So if you start seeing some glitter on my face, that is why. <laughs> and I'm also slightly frazzled from it. So you guys are all here for this Chanel unboxing. I'm very, very excited to be doing this. I'm, as always, I'm gonna get straight into the unboxing, show you what I bought, and then if you wanna stick around afterwards, I'll explain like a bit more about the handbag and why I bought it. But the only thing I would say is that I've been looking at this handbag for ages and when I went and bought it, I ended up buying a completely different color. Well, it's not completely different. I ended up buying a different color to what I thought I was gonna buy and what I've had my mind on for months. I have not opened this since I purchased it last weekend and so now I'm really scared I'm gonna open it and not like it because I changed my mind at the last moment. I hadn't ever seen that color Oh God, all I done. This, this could all go terribly wrong. <laughs> oh, I'm really nervous. Okay, so let's get into it. The Chanel packaging is just the nicest. So beautiful, completely beautiful. But I don't actually want to take it off and undo it all. I don't know what that is. Dun, dun, dun. So the lovely black box. Where is it going to open? Yeah, it is opening this way. And I'm going to do this down here because it'd be easier. Oh, there's two layers. I feel really bad ripping this. And then inside the tissue paper comes the duff bag the usual wad of stuff in here that looked quite nice actually on the shelf it's got Chanel written on it um, you can probably already tell by the design of the dust bag what is inside here oh wow that's really pretty Carl Logfield so you can, can you see that it's really pretty so you probably already guessed Dun, 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 dun. Okay, I think I've made the right decision. <laughs> so I had to look at it then. I think, I think. I had to take a moment, just a moment out. Let me get over this off. There's loads of. Oh, I was going to rip it. Whatever. Let me take the cloth out. So you can get a much better look of it. So here we go. So this is the Chanel Medium Classic Double Flap Handbag. But it is in a different colour to what I thought I was going to purchase. I'm going to show you a bit around the handbag and then I'll talk about the colour. So this is in the Caviar Leather. This has got the Champagne hardware. It's not silver or gold, but it's champagne colour. I'm just going to take this part the plastic bit off so you can see up front I don't know if that's showing let me show you the if you can see the champagne color um, the classic gold is very very yellow gold um, yeah I'd just say a very yellow version this is a lot a lot more subtle um, inside we have the classic flap the CC I'm sure you've all seen a Chanel classic flap. I'm sure this isn't new to you. Not a bad size handbag. I actually can't fit everything I'd fit in here in my day handbag. So if I was to take this out, I'd probably have to leave out my, um, I've got a pocket diary, like a mulberry pocket diary. I'd probably have to leave that out, but it would fit everything else in there. It would easily fit in my purse, my phone, tissues, a charger, lipstick, all that sort of stuff. So it's still, it's a, it's a really good size handbag. I will at the end do some, not cutaways. What am I trying to say? 
in the end, at the end of the video, I'll show you it on me, like so you can see the size of it on my body. I'm five foot six for reference. The handle can be worn. I feel like this is really boring telling you this much because I'm sure everyone who's watching this will have seen the Chanel Classic Flat, but I don't need to explain all this detail to you. But uh, it can be worn like that, long or like that, shorter. I'll probably wear it. And I think if you're quite small, you could potentially get it. I've seen some people wear it cross body, but for me, I've got really big boobs and I'm probably a bit too tall. I don't, for me, I can't wear this cross body, but much smaller, shorter people can get away with it. So I, I would always wear it over the arm like so. Uh, and I say, it's got the also the slip bit at the back, which isn't big enough to fit my phone in, unfortunately, but I'd put like, I'd probably put like train tickets and stuff in there. And also inside it has the two flaps in here as well. And there's also obviously the flap in there, but not like probably put anything in that bit in the back. So now to go talk about the colour. So what I originally wanted was the Chanel Medium Classic Flap in the colour beige. And that's what I thought I was going to purchase. Then when I went into, I went to Harrods in the end, the Chanel department in Harrods, and when I got there, he got out, and you can actually get the beige in silver hardware and gold hardware, and I thought I was going to go for silver, um, and actually when I saw it in silver, I was like, mm, maybe I want the gold, and then he brought out this. Now, this is part of the new, a new collection, it is a new colour, so this is a classic design, but it's a new colour they just brought out this season. So when I said to him, well, what's the colour called? He said beige. And I said, well, that one's beige. That's classic beige. So I said, well, what's this one called? Beige. So I'm not really sure if this is right, if they're both called beige, because to me, it doesn't really make sense. If any of you know actually what this colour is called, then please tell me. The tag doesn't say anything. Um, I need to have a look online and see if I can actually see what this colour is actually called, because I can't believe they would bring out two handbags which are different colours called the same thing. I don't know. This only comes in the champagne hardware, it doesn't come in anything else. I would wish I could have the other one here side by side to show you the difference, but the only way I can describe it, and I say I was convinced I wanted the other one, and I saw this and I fell in love with this colour, is I would say this is more a nude. Uh, this is more a pinky beigey nude, and if any of you have seen my Chloe Nile, which is in the colour of the Scotty Beige, it's very similar to that. When you had that next to then the Chanel beige, the classic beige, the classic beige looked very yellow. It was it was like a yellow cream. And actually, I didn't actually like it then when I saw it compared to this. So I'm actually really pleased they just brought this out and I happened to be shown it. Even I had my heart set on the other colour. When I was I was wearing some nudie beigey shoes at the time, this handbag went with it much better than the other one. And the other one was a lot paler as well, so in terms of colour transfer, it wouldn't be as great. So I just changed my mind on the spot and went for this one. But actually looking at it now, I'm so pleased. I think this will go with more, like my wardrobe, this will go with more than the sort of yellow toned cream colour. Still very nice, but I th hopefully I'm thinking I've gone for the right one. So yeah, let me know in the comments below if you like this new colour beige, and if you happen to know what the colour is actually called. And um, if you've got any other further comments about it, I must say, I have the Chanel Wallet and, Tra Wallet and Train? Wallet on Chain! <laughs> in caviar in black, and it's so, so hard wearing. In mine, oh, it's only six months old, I know, but it looks brand new. It's not got any dents, scratches, marks or anything. And this, again, is in the caviar and it feels, to a degree, waxy. It feels quite waxy, which means it's gonna hopefully, again, be really hard wearing. So I can't wait to start using this handbag now. I've waited a week, which was long enough, to film this so I can now get it out. Actually, I won't be able to actually start wearing it and showing you guys until I've uploaded this video. So I'm gonna try and do that quickly. But yeah, I'm really pleased with it. I now am not going to purchase a Chanel for a while because this has been my third item in the space of six months for Chanel. I'm going to leave it. I may potentially be te tempted to get a black version of this, which, because just, it is just a classic, it will go everything. Um, but I might get it in this size or bigger, maybe. This is a maybe. I'm not, I'm not definite. Um, but Chanel has definitely won my heart recently. Um, yeah, so I'm... 
so sorry. Having a bit of an inspection, you know, you worry. You panic. This is the last one as well, so I've got the last one in Harrods. I'm sure they'll get some more in. Yeah, I also think that the champagne toned hardware is, I think, a lot more subtle um, and it's easier to transfer from day to evening rather than being that real yellow, yellow gold. So I still like the other one. So if you're thinking of getting it, it is still a lovely option. But yeah, I'm really chuffed with this. And if you follow me on Instagram, total plug, um, then you'll see me sporting this and how I style it and what I wear it with. And I really hope you guys like it as much as I do. So thank you guys for coming and checking this out. And yeah, please do subscribe. I will be unboxing more handbag videos shortly, even though it might not be Chanel, I'm sure. So thank you all for watching.